Welcome to a Voltron toy review from Let's Voltron, the official Voltron podcast. Check us out at letsvoltron.com. In this video, we're showing you four new Voltron Legendary Defender basic action figures from Playmates Toys. Like the previous eight figures, these are part of assortment 66680. The four new figures are Shiro, item 66689. Lance, item 66690. Keith, item 66691. And Cannon Fire Voltron, item 66695. If you're keeping score, there are now 12 Voltron Legendary Defender basic action figures. But that's not all. On the back of the new figures' blister cards are images of two additional figures that have not yet been released, Pidge and Hunk. And at New York Toy Fair 2017, we saw previews of even more basic figures. Zarkon, Drazel the Robeast, and variants of Keith and Lance that will be bundled with the upcoming Paladin series Red Lion and Blue Lion. Now let's look more closely at the four new figures. Here is Cannon Fire Voltron. Cannon Fire Voltron includes Voltron's shoulder cannon and a missile. Let's check out the figure's articulation. We have neck swivel, rotating shoulders, elbow hinges, forearm swivels just below the elbows, waist swivel, limited hip rotation, knee hinges, and rotating wings. Attaching Voltron's shoulder cannon to his right shoulder is a bit tricky at first. I found it easier to clip the cannon from back to front like this. The cannon can rotate upward and downward, and it can pivot 360 degrees. To insert the missile into the cannon, align the missile's veins horizontally, and then just push the missile into the cannon. To fire the shoulder cannon, press the black button on the top. Cannon Fire Voltron has the same size and proportions as Lion Attack Voltron, shown here on the left, and Sword Attack Voltron on the right. It seems that Cannon Fire Voltron was actually built from a mix of parts from the other two Voltron figures. Most parts seem to come from Lion Attack Voltron, but the left arm clearly comes from Sword Attack Voltron. The reuse of parts doesn't bother me. Toy companies have been making new figures from parts of older ones for years. Aside from the cannon, Cannon Fire Voltron has one more unique quality, more detailed face paint. Whereas Lion Attack Voltron and Sword Attack Voltron have all silver faces, Cannon Fire Voltron has yellow eyes and blue accents. Because Cannon Fire Voltron shares parts with the other two Voltron figures, you can mix and match the accessories. Here is Lion Attack Voltron with Cannon Fire Voltron's shoulder cannon. Here is Sword Attack Voltron with Cannon Fire Voltron's shoulder cannon. Now you can have a Voltron with the sword, the shield, and the shoulder cannon all at the same time. And here is Cannon Fire Voltron with Sword Attack Voltron's shield. The Voltron triplets are fun action figures. But now it's time to check out some Paladins. I'm excited finally to have these in my collection. Here is Shiro. Here is Keith. And here is Lance. All three Paladin figures have two common accessories, a helmet and a shield. Each Paladin figure also comes with a unique third accessory. Shiro includes an energized cybernetic forearm and hand, Keith includes his Bayard sword, and Lance includes his Bayard blaster. Now let's check out the Paladin figure's articulation. They all have the same points of articulation, so we'll just look at Shiro for now. Ball-jointed heads with a range of motion that's a bit limited by their collars. Forward and backward rotation of each shoulder. Outward rotation of each shoulder. Elbow joints. 
bicep swivel just above each elbow, wrist swivels, that's a really cool feature, forward and backward rotation of each hip. For some reason, Shiro's hips bend further backward than forward. The other two paladins have greater forward range of motion. Lateral swivel of each hip, knee joints, and lower leg swivel just below each knee. As a warning, if you swing out the arms of the figures too far, you can scrape the shoulder paint, as I did by mistake with both Lance and Keith. They were just minor scuffs, but they were still scuffed. Let's take a look at the face sculpt. I have to say, I really like it. I think it does a fair job at approximating Shiro from the cartoon. I also like the paint and the hair detail here. It looks like they've actually glued on a separate piece. And they've got his uh, sort of buzz cut thing going on here around the sides that looks really nice. Another thing, which may be a little hard to tell here, is that there is a scar across his nose. It's actually a very subtle paint job, which is nice. They could have made that, you know, a really dark, gaudy stripe, but they didn't, and it looks really cool. I also want to point out that their jetpacks have been sculpted into their back, and that looks really nice. Cool stuff. Now you will see that there, some of the painted details, some of the details which are colored blue in the cartoon aren't colored blue here. So if you look, you can see a faint groove going around the collar, and that's usually colored blue in the cartoon, not so, not so much here. And the same is true here with the thigh details. Uh, but overall, I think this is a really nice design, and I really like the sculpt of Shiro. Moving on to Keith. I think they caught his mullet pretty well. Um, and the face has got a bit of that, you know, that I'm so emo kind of look that we all know and love from Keith. Um, the colors here look pretty good. Now, as you can see, the paint is not perfect on these figures. There are some scuffs, especially up around the shoulders. It is a nice looking figure. I like it. Now let's take a look at Lance. Lance does not have my favorite face sculpt, I'll freely admit it. I guess the face sculpt is okay, but I'm really not a fan of those eyes. They're kind of... I don't know what to say. Now, now Lance often has kind of silly expressions, and I do think they captured his smirk pretty well, but his eyes just don't really do it for me. Still, the figure on the whole looks pretty nice. I do like, once again, the sculpted backpack, I think the color details are very nice, and uh, it's generally a, a pretty cool figure. Again, not a fan of the eyes, but uh, otherwise, I like them. You can see that the helmet is made from a transparent blue plastic that they then painted on the outside to be the proper colors of the Paladin helmet. You might also notice here, notice here that the helmet is kind of gummy which actually helps in putting the helmet on a figure's head. So here's Shiro. You take the helmet, you put it on, and there you go. To remove the helmet, just pop it off. Now, Keith's helmet is actually a little bit on the stiff side, but you can still get it around his head. And there you go. Again, just pop it off. Finally, here's Lance. And there's his helmet. Squeeze it on. There it is. And off it goes. Now, let's talk about Shiro's hand. He has a sort of powered up version of his hand and you can remove the forearm right here. It just pops off with a simple peg and then you just and there you go.
The figure's handheld accessories have large handles. The shields, Keith's sword, and Lance's blaster all seem to fit well in their left hands. But all of them are tough to put in the figure's right hands. I think if I strong arm these toys a bit more, I could probably get them to hold their accessories in the right hands. But I decided to uh, play it safe, and so uh, I just put the accessories in their left hands for this video. Shiro, Keith, and Lance look great on display. But are they fun to play with? Let's find out. Shiro, are you bummed that the Black Lion won't let you fly it anymore? Not really. I found another ride. Michael, are you ready to go? My name is Shiro. I'm Keith, and I'm so emo. Never mind. Oh man, I wish I could be part of your world! I like Cannon Fire Voltron, and I really like all of the new Paladin figures. I hope Pidge and Lance are released soon. And Allura, and Karand, and Zarkon, and Hagar, and Lotor, and Kolovan, and Lotor's generals, and... You get the idea. But for now, we have 12 very cool basic action figures to collect and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for all things Voltron, check out Let's Voltron, the official Voltron podcast at letsvoltron.com. In case you were wondering, in any combination, These action figures are perfect for shipping. What? Thanks for watching. For all things Voltron, be sure to check out Let's Voltron, the official Voltron podcast at letsvoltron.com.